Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shu here, bringing you a, another haul video of what we got in the last convention, Soda City. It's been a few days since then, and honestly, I've been busy, and I've been wanting to make this, but, oh, you know, life goes on, I've been busy, you know, stuff IRL happened, and I've just been, overall, I haven't gotten the chance. So I figured I might as well go ahead and do it now. So, anyway... It was a great convention. I will say for us, it was about a three-hour drive. It was fun. It was fine. No big deals. Um, actually, for the first time, I had never gone to Columbia. So it was cool. I actually liked it. I think that in the future, we'll probably go again. This is the first time they had their convention since the pandemic. And I gotta say, before I even show you anything that I have today, you know, it was... It was nice, you know, um, seeing a lot of people excited, you know, and we have been to conventions, but this was the last one for the year for us, and honestly, you know, kind of going in there, you know, it was kind of packed, uh, people were nice, you know, and I actually liked the way that it was organized, and just overall enjoyed the way, it, like, the vibe of it, because it felt kind of organized, even though some people may not have actually known how to like get around there because it wasn't a necessarily large building it was actually kind of a simple kind of building but it was a where an upstairs and a downstairs and in the upstairs you have one room for a panel which is fine you know you have only a few guests and in the other room you have the celebrities and let me tell you going in there and then downstairs you have your um, your exhibition room where you have all the other stuff you even have room for people to eat because there was food there. And it was just nice. But the celebrity room, look, there was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so like five guests, five, six guests. Not a whole lot. But they're big considering that my hero movie came out just recently. And a lot of the main guys were there. So you think that it was going to be, you know, packed long lines. Guys, I went through that for the, it was the fastest celebrity experience meeting ever. And I cannot complain. I cannot complain. I don't think I'll ever be able to beat that where I wanted to meet everyone in less than 30 minutes. That is something that, to me, was just awesome. You know, being able to do that in 30 minutes, I mean, less than 30 minutes, dude, really not complaining. So, I'll get to everyone individually. So, start off with David Mantraga, the voice of Todoroki, the voice of Tam Tamaki from uh, um, Maid Sama. Those are fans. I was able to meet him for the second time. You know, this time I actually had a Funko with for him to sign. Finally got him to sign. He said, never forget who, who you want to become. And he had to sign on there. Like I said, the the My Hero movie just came is, is still in theaters, I think, currently, and you know it, it was a good movie and he did phenomenal. Uh, that was the first time my, introducing my wife to these uh, to the My Hero world, and it, she really really enjoyed it, which was fun. And I actually am glad that she liked it, and going forward, I think she's gonna actually start watching the series. I've watched it, you guys probably know from my main channel that I review it, and if you haven't, go check it out, man. Go what you're waiting for. You watch this content, but watch my anime stuff, you know? Go ahead. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. And then, my wife, like I said, is a big fan of, of the series of my maid Sama, and so she had already got this signed by Monica Rial, who is Misaki, or Misaka, or Misaki, oh, Misaki, sorry, I can't talk today, <laughs> goodness, and he was the main guy, and he got it signed, as you guys can tell, right over in there, and so, she's finally gotten this whole thing signed, so she's very, very happy about that, this is one of her favorite series, she's a big romance anime connoisseur, and I gotta say, if you guys, I'm asking you guys, because I love y'all's input, if you guys know of any romantic anime that maybe I have missed or a hidden gem that is in Boku no Pico, guys, come on. I would do something like that. And if I do get a comment like that, I'm going to laugh. But if any of you guys know of a one that isn't your typical one, like 
I don't know, you know, Love is Hard for a Taco, you know, we've watched some of those. If you guys have a recommendation, let us, let me know. I'd love to know, because uh, I want to get into more anime. She loves to read, so I want to get her into anime, get her into mangas too, you know. But anyway, I've rambled long enough about that one. Um, my next person, the next person we actually met was none other than Shina himself, Mr. Bakugo, a.k.a. Clifford Ch uh, Chapin. Really cool to meet him. He was short, you know, he wasn't the most talkable person. Uh, he was, I, we told him as well that we actually, I, I took, took her to the theater. You know, I told David the same thing. They, they both had the same reaction. You know, they were thinking, you know, it's really cool, you know, to be able to experience that way. So now you gotta go watch the series, so... It's really nice that they were actually, you know, encouraging my wife to go and watch it. So it was really cool. And so we had a Funko and we had him sign it with his traditional die. Obviously, we, for us fans, we know what that means. So really nice to be able to meet him. We also get to, got to meet a very nice lady who I actually... But anyway, we we got to meet the lovely voice of Mikasa. We have the Funko Mikasa signed, which, you know, I'm a huge Mikasa fan. I asked her, you know, do you know the way it ends? She's like, we're not allowed to know. And I'm like, I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, it sucks if it is, you know. I don't understand why they're not allowed to know i guess it's because it would maybe affect their their i don't know their their the way they think the way they feel about a character i'm not sure but regardless it sucks that she you know she wasn't able to know and she wasn't willing to tell us anything else which was fine you know in regards to that but she was very 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 lovely uh, i think her name was china nakamura I, I don't remember i don't want to butcher her name but she was lovely and you know, she actually wrote the phrase, this world is cruel, but it is also beautiful. You know, really, really sweet of her and really nice. We took the, we did the pose as well, which was lovely. I thought it was really cool. And, you know, it, you know I can't complain. You know, she was really, really nice. Uh, and then we also got to meet the voice of Ruri, which name, honestly, I am so sorry. I cannot remember. And, um... You know, she was nice to talk to. She actually was saying, you know, I wish I was in the exhibition room because I'd like seeing the things. And I thought about that, too. And I was like, you know, people, you know, get off on that energy, you know, like that. I'm not saying like in a weird way. They like they thrive on that kind of, you know, energy being around other people, you know, the fans and stuff. And it's nice. But I understand why they put them in a separate area, because for one. It's kind of hard to listen to them and then hear us if we're in a con you know very congested area, and that just builds more traffic. So I thought that's really cool that they did that because honestly, it it alleviates you know that stress of having to oh man I gotta get around you know and it's already a cramped area and it gives more room to the exhibitionists to like you know show off their goods you know so that was really nice. Um, I understand why she said it, you know, maybe she she likes that, and I understand. I never thought about it that way, but um, maybe from time to time some conventions can do that, you know. And so, I agree with her. I thought about that a little bit, and, you know, I could see both ends of the, of the you know, discussion. But she was really nice. And out of the four, I think the one that I really enjoyed the most is going to have to be none other than the voice of Mikasa. I thought she was just really, really nice really personable i had never like even thought about who the voice was because i mostly watch it in japanese you know in the subversion but she was really sweet so i really liked the way she was just kind of being able to just talk to us and like you know that's the thing too like with them being separated from everyone else and then not having many people there to begin with that gives them the chance to discuss and just kind of be open. Because, you know, you always have those people that really, really, really want to talk. And, unfortunately, you know, they're not very considerate of the time of others. And so, in this kind of circumstance, they could have talked, you know, and it would have been nice, you know. And, you know, I'm not the biggest talker when it comes to them because I want to be more considerate of their time. But if I wanted to, I could have. 
you know, I could have just sat there basically and just had a whole interview. I, I, not, sometimes I think about doing that, really. I, I really do think about doing something like that one day, you know. Just be like, hey, can I interview, interview? Um, this is my channel, yada, yada, yada. But I don't think I'm there yet. And um, I think it's not a flexing thing. It's just more of a comfortable thing. More like, you know, where I feel like I, I want to sound more professional around them and art articulate better, you know. And enunciate, as my wife would say, uh, much better around them. So hopefully, you know, very, very soon I can do that. Maybe hopefully in the next couple of years that'll be something where it becomes a reality, you know, that'll be great. But enough rambling of the guests, time to show off the goods, not many goods, but the goods that we got throughout the convention. Uh, the first one I want to show off is this, which was for the wife I got for her. She, she has, uh, normally she does these things with me, but she's actually been working a lot lately, so, you know, it's up to me to do it. And so we got Sailor Moon, this one was really cool, I figured she loves Sailor Moon add this doll to the collection Zuko now this Funko there is a reason why we got him we have had Dante sign it but we will be meeting Dante again so this time we'll be having him sign a Funko which was you know at the time there wasn't one so we had a vintage you know collectible from when the t original toys were released and honestly, I saw in Walmart actually today, because I went to Walmart today, and I saw that people, uh, well, not people, but they had re-released some new toys for it. And I'm like, golly, I love the detail on some of these toys. But, um, Funkos are our thing, so I had to stick to the Funkos. And then, speaking of Avatar, we got a Katara as well, which... We have a few of these now. We have Iroh, and I think we have Toph. I'm not, if I'm not sure. But we don't have Aang and Appa for sure, and we don't have Sokka. So, getting there. Getting there with the collection. And um, hopefully very soon we'll have them all. And then the final one that we had today, that we got, is the duo of Kale and Khalifa. Both of them in their Super Saiyan forms. This was actually one that I wanted to get quite a while, and this was only 20 bucks, or 25 bucks to get. So I was like, ain't no way I'm going to pass this up. So, you know, one of the best things about these conventions is, like, finding awesome things. I didn't want to overdo it, and quite honestly, there was a bunch of stuff, um, but it was mostly artsy. So not only were I was trying to budget better, I was trying to just kind of feel for what I would prefer, not just buy a bunch. And, like I said, just look around. But, um, overall, I gotta say, the it was a very nice experience. I really enjoyed that convention. Um, the location was, you know, not bad. It was just in a very crowded spot. And the thing was, it's right next to the university, so you already have people just walking across just in general and not only that we had a cheerleading con uh, competition at the same time and then the arena next door so a lot a lot of congestion uh congestion gestion oh god i can't speak <laughs> all that and you know just was a bit of a downside but it was still nice to be around in that town in that city for the first time so but yeah, guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. Um, if you were at the convention, you know, let me know what you thought. You know, who, who did you enjoy meeting? What was your experience like? What did you like? All that good stuff. Or if you haven't gone to a convention, you know, go ahead and try one, man. Conventions are fun. You know, I always enjoy. You don't even have to be there a whole day. You know, there's always something new to do and something you know, like meet some new people. You know, it's one of the things that always, you know, is very fun to do. But guys, again, that's it. Take care. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you later.